a, this is the, this is, now we've all heard the arguments that Republicans are causing women to die because they can't get an abortion. And by the way, statistically speaking, there is never a need for a woman to get an abortion that will, that will save her life. There's never actually a need for a woman to get an abortion to save her life. Never. Statistically speaking, never. But they're saying that women are dying. We, we saw it. I think it was, it was uh, uh, Joe, Mor- Morning, Morning Joe, uh, Mika uh, Brzezinski. She said wh- Trump is killing women, killing women. And this is one of the stories that they like to use, whether they use the specific one or not. Well, it's being used by a leftist right here. So it's being used. But whether this was one that Mika was talking about or not, I don't know. But what they're saying is that Trump, by sending the abortion uh, subject back to the states, by sending the abortion issue back to the states, he's killing women. No, he's actually saving women in the womb because America kills 500,000 women in the womb every year by the people who claim to be advocates for women. But this is what they, this is this kind of story that they always use. Nicholas Kristoff, a struggling Nevada mom, struggling Nevada mom, suffers a miscarriage. The police show up and arrest her for manslaughter because she, that's what they're saying. That, that women can't get, um, D, was it DNCs? DNC. DNC. Thank yep. you, Aaron. I knew you'd remember. Yep. DNCs. They can't get DNCs under, under the abortion laws in states. That's absolutely not true. Abortion means killing a live human being. A D and C means evacuating a person who has already died of natural causes. They are bold face freaking liars. That's who they are. So this is one of the kind of stories that they use to drum up propaganda. The police show up and arrest her for manslaughter because she just had a miscarriage. She gets arrested under these draconian Trump laws. He's not even president of the United States. These draconian Trump laws. And she's sentenced to 2.5 to 8 years in prison. Only when a pro bono lawyer steps up and appeals does the judge reverse the conviction and set her free to return to her children. This is family values? <laughs> they question the Trump voters? This is family values? Now, this is the woman that they allowed. That, I'll read the sentence again. The, according to Nicholas, Nicholas Kristoff. Only when a pro bono, bo, pro bono lawyer steps up and appeals does the judge reverse the conviction and set her free to return to her children. Read the bottom. She smoked meth while pregnant. Now she's returned to her children. Two crimes. Her baby was well past viability. Autopsy found 28 to 30, 32 weeks. She admitted she smoked the meth to kill her child. I wonder why the cops arrested her. Law enforcement believes the baby was born alive and then killed. This was in 2018 before Roe was overturned. See what liars these people are? Disgusting, perverted, Satanist liars, demonic liars. They use this. They use stories like this, and that's what Nicholas Kristoff is doing. They use stories like this to illustrate a fraudulent fact that Trump overturning Roe v. Wade is causing women to be arrested Forget it for having a miscarriage, causing women to get arrested or prevented from having a DNC. None of that ever happens. And when something like this actually does happen, first of all, it happened, uh, what do we got? Let's see, uh, two years before Roe v. Wade was even overturned. Oh, no, 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 it was just overturned. During the Biden administration, you put the judges in place to overturn it. During the Trump administration, it was overturned less than two years ago. So it's basically Roe v. Wade was overturned roughly in 2022. This occurred four years before that, and they use it. They use it um, as ammo to show that you never should have overturned Roe v. Wade. But it has nothing to do with it because Roe v. Wade was overturned four years later. It sounds like Kamala's book, Kamala's book, where she has a picture of her and Grandma Beryl, <laughs> who died four years before Kamala was born. And Kamala has a picture with her when Kamala's like 20 years old with her arm around Grandma Beryl. But Grandma Beryl died four years before Trump was born. Same thing here. They try to use a case to show how horrible it was to overturn Roe v. Wade. But the case happened four years before Roe v. Wade was overturned. And and the woman probably killed her own kid on purpose. The kid was 32 weeks old, well well past viability. And she admitted to smoking crack, smoking meth, to kill her kid. If you admit to smoking crack, 
to kill your own bone child? Should you not be arrested? So who is this Nicola, Nicholas Kristof? He must be some far outside right left winger. Well, you know, he's a New York Times columnist. <laughs> Author and farmer of cider, apples, and wine grapes. What an idiot. That's who <laughs> these people are. I mean, you look at this guy. He looks like your average, everyday American citizen. He is a lying, demonic, wretched human being.